Hey, what's going on? <clears throat> I accidentally uh, pressed uh, the wrong button and I ended my other video. So I'm just going to continue where I left off instead of starting all over. <clears throat> um, so here we go, round two. We're going to look at uh, the miners a little bit closer here. <clears throat> Uh, let's look at volume. GDX. Uh, again, I got a weekly chart. <clears throat> I got an intraday chart. Uh, this is a half day candles. And let's change this to a 60 minute chart. And of course, the monthly. <clears throat> All right, all right. So on a daily, looks like we got a nice little bounce off of support and a little continuation now closing above the eight on a daily. <clears throat> and for the week, so far, right above the SMA 34. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, Always pay attention to the monthly as we are bullish. We got confirmed so far for the month, a three bar pattern bottom right over support. So I'm really looking for a previous high break on GDX and it already hit it once. Let's see if we can just smack right across the 26 range. That would be badass on GDX. JNUG, I uh, bought into JNUG today and where did we close? I think the end of the day, it really suckered me in. Huh, so am I not showing it? Oh, that's a 60 minute. Mm, looking at, what do I want? I'm with a five minute back. JNUG. I got sucker punched at the last few minutes of the day right here. I am. But uh, I'm not paranoid yet. Uh, I know it was just a uh, sell off. Uh, but I bought outside this pattern here after the drop off this morning. And Broke previous highs, came back into support and failed. Bam. And so I let it happen. Uh, on the half day chart, you can see we're inside the pattern, ready to break. Uh, if it breaks down, I'll end up selling and taking a small loss. I don't have a lot of money into the market. So for me, it's just a matter of having fun and uh, Keeping it real. But it looks like at the end of the day, it uh, really just bounced back pretty much. So there you go, JNUG. JNUG, I need to get over the 34. That's my goal. That's my goal. Over the 34 again. Uh, EMA is finally crossing over the 8. And um, changes back to a 60 minute. Looks like half day chart and uh, short term chart is above support. Uh, we're looking a little bit oversold on uh, the weekly, but um, once it gets an oversold range, it could stay up there for a while. So I'm looking for a little punch. Cross that 34, still waiting. Looks like ABX was up five, another 6% today. Good job, good job. Look at that monthly chart breakout. I think we called that at the beginning of the month. So from 18 to 20 uh, for two weeks, pretty good job. Okay. Monthly chart breakout. CLF, CLF is getting a 
little bare knuckle uh, trading going on on this one. Let me clear out my charts. There we go. So on the half day chart, we're closing it below the eight, uh, the eight, and on the hourly chart, it looks like we're making a bottom. It's basing, we've got higher lows so far, right? Uh, Cross above the eight, came back into support, and it popped one more time into the 13, came back into support. Right now we're in it, we're at support. We got a nice little J coming in on the hourly. So I'm looking for a pop, but ultimately we need to get above 12 as um, that top pattern broke down on us this morning. So we talked yesterday, we needed to get above that. Uh, actually, we were talking about how price was getting in here really, really tight and it has to make a move and the move was down. So I had to gather its legs looking for that uh, to happen. Uh, ultimately, you could fill the gap. So it could take another leg down into support. Uh, Right now, the top half of that uh, support line. The gaps are good resistance and support lines. So it has support. It's holding support. It came through uh, briefly and doubled back. So now we have support on that gap. So let's see if we can keep going. Ultimately on the week, uh, that's a little blow off top, but um, we'll see how tomorrow ends to make that candle just a little bit brighter. We have a sharp rounding top on the daily. Let's see if this will double back tomorrow. Uh, GDXJ. Looking for a previous high break at 43. It's at support. Previous high break on the monthly, confirmed. GG. Look at that monthly chart on GG. Now you cannot uh, mistake in that at all. That's a double bottom. See the bottom, one, into resistance, two, higher low, bottom. Now price is in a pinch. It really looks like it's going to bust out. Watch for the, the full on, uh, the quick like pullback right back into support. But uh, that's a definite uh, bullish pattern off of the monthly chart on GG. <clears throat> uh, in a case, down another 13% today. Looks like it's lingering. Uh, looks like it closed after hours pretty deep. So no time to get into the 8 here. It just uh, got rejected pretty fast. Look for previous low breaks. Um, I'm pretty... I'm pretty sh confident, not sure, but confident that the range um put, do, 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 let's see let's see <clears throat> the range uh, the previous month's candle is between what 350 and just under two so it already it already made that range i'm thinking maybe it'll come down into two make a higher low i'm thinking two will hold and uh, maybe a double back next month uh, for now, it's bearish, obviously, and it's going to have to settle out um, pretty much everything that it's done. Beautiful chart, though. So far for the month, it's a higher low. We need to take out the double top. 
And the daily was pretty brutal at the end. But much more, much less volume than uh, priors. So what do we got? 40, 000, 40 million in the last two days, where this one it was at 60 million sell-off. So I'm thinking uh, support at two. As it comes down into the range of things and hits the previous high. That's my support. Looks like a 107, 105. See if we can hold two for the week. That would be important. One more day. Uh, let's see. I got uh, some requests. M L R K F. Uh, it looks like an ML RKF. What is this? Uh, Mill Rock Resources. I'm pretty sure I have it in my watch list, but uh, it's a. <clears throat> Hundred and sixty thousand shares traded, closing on a <clears throat> falling star. Looks like the previous break carried all the way to 50 and now it's coming back into support. Look for previous low breaks and that will confirm as a falling star. Otherwise, uh, that could be just a uh, support level and it came all the way back down in making an inverted hammer. Uh, look at these. Are those hammers? Knocking out a bottom, look for previous high breaks on the intraday chart. And uh, the monthly is very telling as we have a previous high break coming in at around 55 cents. And that looks pretty promising for a breakout. But I got a bunch of reversal bars here. I need to confirm or deny through time here. Um, Daily is just a nice U, so it's coming back in. Let's see. And for the week, it looks like a, a dangerous uh, reversal bar forming. Uh, whenever I look at these charts, I want to make sure that I'm close to my moving averages, not way far away. So this might be coming back into support. But the monthly is good. I'd keep a watch on the monthly break. Because that's going to be nice. You got a previous high break coming. Flat top break on the whole pattern at 60 cents, it looks like. Previous highs broken at 60. Monthly looks awesome. I'm just not sure the short term move is this is this going to confirm a falling star and come all the way back in? Or is that our support line? So far it's holding support, which is previous highs. So stay above previous highs, and you're again another previous high here, another previous high here. So you got a line of support. Maybe that was the um, the throwback into support. We'll have to see what happens on the confirmation on that one. <clears throat> another one is uh, G V X S F. Mm, this one's not coming in for me, so. I'll leave it in my watch list and see if I can get any. Uh, well, it's from Canada. No, this is foreign, so I should be able to get quotes on it. I'll leave it in my watch list. See if uh, things will change. It doesn't. I can't get anything out of that. Uh, the other one was uh, uranium. You, 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 you. I got a nice J curve on the 60 minute. Might get a little pop here shortly. I got a, a top at 270. Got a bottom trend that broke out and came back into support. Now it's ready to move on up. 240 is support on the long term chart. Previous highs. So that another throwback into support. We'll see. 
but nice move across the 34 and consolidating and uh, that consolidation turned out to be a nice U. So everything else looks good. Previous, previous high breaks on the monthly, I'm gonna take a ride. Pretty sure I have this on my watch list too, but uh, volume's been good for the week, 4.5 million. Hmm. Do I have it in my watch list? I should. Yeah, I got it. One to watch. The weekly chart's perfect. Just watch for previous high breaks, maybe buy into support. You got three lines of support now, plus a, a downward trend line that is uh, pretty weak. Ultimate highs at 10. 11. Looks pretty good. The weekly chart, look for previous high breaks, that flat top break on the, the one move that I love. Cross the 34 into support and then watch that break across the top. So onward and upward, let's see, let's see. HMY, I think someone was asking about that. <clears throat> Still bullish on a monthly. Uh, looks a little toppy, you got a lower high on a 60 minute. And you got support. Stay above three, I think. This could be the time it punches on through for HMY. AG. AG is just a lingering. I need to get this thing moving. Uh, previous high breaks would get us up into the next range of things. Next previous high. Uh, we got previous highs at 13, no, 12. And then right now we're working to get across this previous high. And then we got, what is that, 12 and a half maybe, and then onward to 14. So bullish on AG, it's just taking forever, as you well know. Had a little pop into the 34 resistance, came back into support where the, I'm thinking this can come down a little bit further into support if it wanted to. But right now it's hanging above previous lows. So nothing confirmed on the downside yet, but it did poke its nose down below previous lows. It's still gearing up. I believe that silver is doing very well and it's just almost ready. It's just waiting for something. I don't know what. <clears throat> uh, let's take a look at URRE. Nice pop into resistance, came all the way back into support. There you go, another trade coming in. Wow. Broke previous highs, came into previous highs, sell at resistance, buy into support. If it sold that all day and came back into support, you would have picked it all back up. Nice pop, came back into support. See if it'll hold after a big move like that. I mean, still hanging 10 above the 34. Stay above that 34, the 8, and the 13. Still got support. Don't let it break down. CCJ, another uranium. Looks like a bullish retracement's in. Looks like it's climbing on back up. We got the ultimate breakout at uh, 1350. It's hanging above support on the weekly. Broke above on interday. Came back into support on interday, so it's gathering its legs. 
Looks like the 60 minute needs a little help. Look for previous high breaks on the monthly. Looks like uranium's doing pretty good. What else we got? Keeping in mind and keeping my mind on silver. <clears throat> Looks like another uh, consolidation candle above support for EXK. Definitely bullish on the long term on EXK. That pop over the 34 came into support. Now it's on its way back up. Ultimate break at six. It's going to be amazing watching these break on the flat top breaks on the monthly chart. It's going to be awesome. I think GPL is doing that flat top break here real soon. One to watch. That's one to watch. I, I uh, gather that it will hit resistance and back off um, because it never, well, never and always never apply in trading. But um, you have a previous high, came all the way down, support, came all the way back into resistance. Um, I'm guessing that this will come down into a stair step gather its legs and try one more time. The faster that you across the consolidation, the faster that consolidation that comes down across here and then busts right across, those are the big moves. So watch how fast it consolidates. I mean, if it takes weeks to get down into support, but if it just uh, doesn't these one, two punches across resistance, that'd be awesome. But GPL, look at that monthly chart. Cross the 34, back into support. Now it's got the previous high break coming. Pretty nice. Uh, EXK, USLV, still pumping. UEC, ugh. Ah, what a nasty little thing that turned out to be. Busted out, came all the way back inside. Uh, now it looks like it wants to come all the way back down into support. Where it once was a breakout, now is a fail. Nasty. So, just like on NAK, you see that double top and you got to watch out. Unless it, unless it uh, confirms on the upside, negating the double top right here i had a double top and a falling star on a 60 minute i think uh once it got down to like i think 182 or something that's when i got out <clears throat> sorry my my touchpad's really really sensitive i keep drawing all these lines for no reason uh, CNAB, nice little pop. Uh, be careful, as it already made a big move, came back into support, popped, came back into support, popped. It is making higher highs, and it is hugging support, so trade outside that pattern. Let's see, URA, same kind of... Uh, blow off back below previous highs hmm hmm long term on ura is good it's just about ready to break over that 34 could be a little push cross goro goro again look at it we we'll keep going over this monthly chart i mean all these are bullish. You're getting a lot of uh, shakeouts and head fakes and double tops and blah, blah, blah. Just pay attention to the monthly chart. Buy into support. Buy those dips. Whenever the monthly, whenever the long term trend changes, you got to buy into those dips. Looks like we've got a monthly or a weekly uh, hammer forming on TGD. Let's see how that daily candle worked out. I think we 
had a reversal bar on it yesterday. Yep. So it gapped open. It's at resistance though, so it might get rejected. Let's see. Let's see. I don't see much more. So what's TRX doing? This is Jim Sinclair's little baby. Looks like the monthly's having some trouble. Low volume, looks like the price ranges are very, very low. Look for these low price range deals and watch for a volume breakout. High was $1.50, now it's down to, so it's all the way back a dollar from its highs. Hmm. I'm looking like we got support. Nice volume day here. Look for volume to come in. You might want to take a ride. It's, looks like it's been hesitant. I think I'm going to call it a day. Call it a day. Let's see. Let's see. I'm watching SVBL. That monthly chart already got knocked back, so I had to sell. But um, still waiting for a buy-in. On that one, it's just a little, it's a little pink stock. So watch out for those things. Oh, that was nice. <clears throat> nice bullish retracement on the monthly. Look for a previous high break. Mm -hmm. Daily though, you got a little falling star. So be careful. We got support. At those gaps, previous lows, the gap, and the previous high. Falling star, watch out below. EXLLF. This one's going to be nice. Look at the uh, the break across consolidation, the previous high break, the blow off, come back into support, previous high breaks. Look for it. Previous high breaks. Looks like a nice little reverse head and shoulders on the daily chart. And I think that's just about it. A little stragglers, got a lot of them without any volume. I think that's about it. Let's go to a percent change. Let's see if we missed anything. CBNX, just a little, just a little runner. Uh, CNAB, I think we did that one. Percentage gainers. Going to keep a close eye out for JNUG. A little push, looking for that UDIM. See the breakout, come back into support, look for previous high breaks on the daily and the weekly. Let's do it. But there, that's two videos. I uh, hope everyone's doing good. So keep your wits about you. Watch those long-term charts. Know where you're at with the trend before you start all this. And um, check your intraday charts before you buy in. Know where you're going to sell it. Know where you're going to uh, uh, stop out. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for the weekly close. See ya.